Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with PocketNow.com and so much is going on. We just filmed an awesome announcement, which you'll see on Monday. There's a PocketNow live show happening right now. There's a blizzard outside and I've got a BlackBerry Z10 review to write. There's a lot happening, but none of it in this very moment is as exciting as the fact that Windows Phone 8 just got Spotify. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is going to be less exciting news for anybody who's been running Windows Phone 7 because Spotify has been running on Windows Phone 7 for quite some time, but it just made the port to Windows Phone 8. Before today, you couldn't get Spotify running on Windows Phone 8. So this is huge. It was a huge gap in functionality, and it's especially big news for anybody who uses more than one mobile platform on a regular basis, i.e. most of us at Pocket Now and in the tech reporting world in general, because now we can access our playlists on one more major platform, Windows Phone 8. So the user interface is very similar to what you've already seen on Windows Phone 7. We launch into the app, and we have the Spotify title up top. There's a search bar where you can search for artists here. Your playlists are aggregated thusly. And if you want to just start playing a playlist, you can just tap. Go ahead and tap on a song. And it does that. You can also see the queue of music that you've queued up to play from various playlists. And you can see your list of people, which is really cool. If you have friends on Spotify, you can see what they're currently listening to. You can see what they've aggregated in terms of uh, what their favorite songs are, their favorite playlists, top artists, and so on. And you can always see what they're playing currently if they are, in fact, listening to Spotify. Jaime is busy in a Pocket Now Live hangout right now, which you should go do after you're done watching this video. When music is playing, you can hop back to the home screen and it will continue to play in the background. The Spotify shortcut is, in fact, a live tile, so it will flip periodically to show you what album you're listening to or what album is currently paused. And if you are in another application, say you're just playing around, you're setting an alarm clock, whatever, you want to adjust the volume, Spotify does use the Windows Phone 8 player controls up top, so you can pause, resume, and skip tracks from here as well. From within the app, you can skip tracks just by sliding from track to track in the album view. And here is also where you can share the track you're listening to using Facebook, using SMS, using email, and so on. You can also add a song to an existing playlist or generate a new playlist right from within the app, as always. And the app, of course, also supports downloadable playlists for offline listening. And finally, under settings, there are options for high quality, low quality streaming and syncing and other such preferences. And once again, in case you're looking for a specific artist, there is search functionality which works just as well as it does on any other Spotify version, it looks like, in this quick look. Once again, that's just a quick look at Spotify for Windows Phone 8, newly released just today. Everybody have fun tonight. That's going to do it for a quick look of Spotify beta for Windows Phone 8. Follow us in the links in the description below so you don't miss future videos. Stay tuned for a lot more on this very, very busy weekend leading up to a busy week, leading up to a busy month. Like the video with a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.